Do you have everything that you ever wanted in life? Do you have cars? Do you have boats? Do you have jewelry? More importantly, do you have these stuffed mushrooms? If not, let's show you how we make them. The first step when making mushrooms, uh, stuffed mushrooms, is that we're going to take them and we're going to make sure that we clean them. Uh, we take, just take a cloth outside, wipe them off. We, we took a little water and put it on a cloth and wiped it off because, you know, I'm a little germophobic person when it comes to that stuff. Uh, and then we're going to take out the stems. I'm just going to take them, twist them off. They're pretty easy, just tilt them back and forth. Now these are baby bella mushrooms. If you see the white ones, you can use those as well. We're going to set the stems off to the side because we want to use those. I'm going to push this off to the side here. Take our pan. We're taking two tablespoons of salted butter. We'll take our little brush here. And we're going to just completely coat each of our um, mushrooms. I'm going to stick it on a nonstick cooking sheet. This process may take just a couple of minutes. But these stuffed mushrooms are delicious. Oh, I've got these almost completely finished. These doesn't have to be perfect on your sheet tray. Because we're going to come back and when we stuff them, you're going to rearrange them anyway. This is going to be a do about 20 of your mushrooms. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on the size of your mushroom. Go set these and put them off to the side. Now, all those stems that we had left over, I'm going to take those and we're going to chop them up just a little bit. We're going to use those for inside of our stuffing mixture. Well, they don't have to be perfect, but we just want to make sure that we don't waste them. Now, what we've done just a little bit earlier, we've taken and we have diced up half a cup of celery and half a cup of white onion. All right, we've got this pretty much diced up. Not too fine, but you know, we don't want any big chunks. Over here, we've got a, our skillet. In our skillet, we're gonna go ahead and throw in another two tablespoons of butter. We're going to stick it on mushrooms. We're just going to stick that on a medium. We want to saute this roughly about four to six minutes. We want them to become cooked and soft because we're also going to add our half a cup of minced celery and our half a cup of uh, onion. At the same time, we're going to add just a little bit of seasoning. We're going to add half a teaspoon of salt. Should I get half a teaspoon there? and one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna pour this one off to the side so I don't make a mess, well, make a mess inside the pan. <laughs> Take that. And we're gonna cook this, uh, like I said, until basically all, all of our uh, mushrooms, onions, and celery become soft. All right, our vegetables have softened up. Turn the heat off, we're gonna move this off the heat. And to that, we're going to add another two tablespoons of butter. Now, how can any recipe go wrong whenever you have six full tablespoons of butter? All right. We're just going to let the residual heat from the bottom of the pan melt that. Because we're actually trying to cool down the pan at the same time. If you wanted, you could use another pan and put these uh, vegetables in, but... Not only do I like simple meals, I also enjoy meals that I don't have to do a lot of cleanup after. All right, it's looking good. All those little bubbles are going away. All right, now to this. We're gonna add one and one half cups of breadcrumbs or stuffing mix. Now this stuffing mix that we're going to use is from Petrich Farms. We found that this kind of works the best for the flavorings. So we're just going to pour that in there. Again, we're going to take this and we're just going to mix that all together. Mm. 
gives off a really nice smell. Of course, just the cooking of the other items, the onions and the celery is also a great smell. Kind of coated everything up, coated all that up with our butter. Now, as a binding agent, we're going to use one egg. So we're taking one egg, and it's beaten. We're just going to pour that all on top and mix everything together. Now it's important that you put that butter in first, like I said, if you're going to use it in one pan, because you don't want to fry your egg any at all. We've taken our oven and we've preheated it to 350 degrees. Alright, our breadcrumbs have also softened up just a little bit with the addition of the egg and butter. Right now, it's time for us to stuff our mushrooms. All right, that's nice, thoroughly mixed. Now, what we're going to do? We're going to use a, just a teaspoon. We're going to take, grab our teaspoon, and we're going to fill up our mushrooms, just so they have a nice little base there on top. It's not going to take a lot of filling. And this is a nice variation. You see a lot of sausage versions online. Or you see a lot of, um, no, you see like spinach artichoke with these. I think the sausage is one you see the most. This is a nice vegetarian option for those that don't want any meat. We'll go ahead and finish filling these up and then we'll get ready to put them in the oven. All right, we're finishing stuffing these up, stuffing these. We'll have just a little bit of stuffing left because it really varies on how the big of the cavity your uh, mushrooms have. We should do at least about 20 mushrooms. Maybe just a few more. Like I said, maybe a few less. Like I said earlier, we have our oven at 350 degrees. We're now going to stick these in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Alright, it's been 17 minutes on for our oven. Look at those. The golden brown on the sides, we've got the nice little stuffing on top. We're going to let those cool for just a little bit and then we're going to eat them rapidly.